Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 47 of Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, I made some minor changes there, like selling a lot of the uh, rare equipment that I don't use anymore. But I did get that Sylph Rapier on Himmy now, instead of the Zodiac one. I think that'll be better for her. Alright, I think it's time to start avoiding again. I believe our next destination will actually be to the northwest. So why don't we head there right away? I mean, we probably could have taken care of this while we were already at um, the Iceberg Outpost. But at the same time, I figured it would be a good idea to just bring the, uh, the people of Santa back. Just to be nice. Alright, so we got a good ways to go. In fact, I think it's beyond the outpost. I'm not going to worry about that fog until later. Boy, it is war off. Uh, we're not making that happen. Okay. It's probably just another dungeon we got to go through to get the piece of Umbra equipment. But I do like that approach. Uh, apparently you can find some stuff in these shallows. Maybe I already found something in here, but it was just money. But if you're lucky, you might be able to find some equipment. Tower over there. That can't be the Mercury Lighthouse, is it? Is that really the Mercury Lighthouse all the way over there? If so, that's actually pretty neat that you're able to do that. I actually don't use Warring Dragon. Do you have anything that can hurt everybody? Metal. I suppose you can do that. Yeah, it's pretty good. It helped here. Maybe I think I'm going to give you a little bit of a break. I'm gonna swap you out. Eris got the level 40. I like that. Let's go Amity. So I think I gotta go beyond further left. Oh, there's another shallow. Hundred and one coins! I thought I was gonna get just the one coin, and that would have made me mad. Alright, we can land here, that's good. Void wore off. You know what? That's fine. We can get into some combat. I right, run into some new enemies. Skinwalker! What are you all of those, anyway? What's your weakness? I've heard of Skinwalkers, and I believe they actually have a rare drop that's really really good I believe it's like one of those forgeable materials but you need really good odds to get it so I'll be on the lookout for that jabroni again later what's this weakness anyway it's not water maybe it's earth could be fire. It's not Earth. If I did finish it with like a Mars Ginny, I would actually get, you know, greater odds 
of, you know, being able to get the item. Alright, Amy, work your magic. You did it. I'm proud of you. Snowdrift Shrine. That sounds like the name of a place you'd see in, like, Majora's Mask. Why is that tree so different? Grizzly! Oh my god, look at your claws, they're red! You're picking your nose too hard? With, like, that very tiny head of yours? I imagine that's a recipe for a disaster. Looks like there's multiple entrances to get in there. Which one do I take? Uh, maybe I'll climb up first. From the left side. Hi! I think I just need to follow you. I did it. Now I just need to drop down over here. Hopefully he's in somewhere I can reach him. He mad. Alright, if I remember correctly, I think you're the very last Mercury Ginny I need. And that makes me very stoked. So let's take you out. You shouldn't be too much trouble. I mean, look how strong we are right now. Well, they're faster than all of us, unfortunately. There. Did it. Level 41. 37. He means a level 39 learned slaying dragon. Ooh, I like that. Uh -huh. Alright, who's gonna have to get this one? Matthew. The geyser. This spirit represents water under pressure and is found near Emil. Geyser's attack consists of a highly pressurized spray of water. Okay, so this definitely was the Mercury Lighthouse I saw. But they're saying that this is Emil. Can I give it to Reef? I can! That's actually a more desirable option. Jeez, look at our collection. It's beyond ridiculous. I love it. Now we gotta think about how we're gonna get in there. Should I use this cave? Why do I have a feeling that this is just somewhere you could fall down? Wait a minute, there's treasure over here. Oh, I definitely don't want to meet a grizzly fate over here, that's for sure. I make puns. Also, I forgot to, uh, reset that, uh, Mars Gene over there. I think Eolio would appreciate it. I swear, those claws almost look like mitts. You know, or gloves. There you go. It's yours. Okay, first things first. I like to think about how we're going to get to that treasure. Can I just fall down those holes? Well, looks like I can. Honestly, I didn't notice a void. If anything, that cliffside was on the left. Maybe if I climb up here and slide down... Could I fall down a hole? Let me hug left. Like right down here! And I broke my legs! Good job! The Phaeton's Blade! Ooh, who 
gets this. It's a light blade, so it's definitely not Matthew. Um, honestly, this is way better for you. That means somebody else can get the Sylph Rapier. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give it to you. I would picture Eolio and Tyrell be more like heavy weapon users, like axes and great swords. But I haven't found many of them that they could really use that's great. So until then, They've been going with light swords for a while. And they've been doing a good job with it, actually. Okay, that's just the hill. I don't want to deal with that. But I see another chest. Maybe I hug left the whole... Not left, right? That's how I do SSX Tricky. <laughs> Just like this. Also, there's another chest. Alright. Well, I didn't fall down, thankfully. But if I need to reach my destination, I'm gonna have to fall from the middle. If I do that, we're golden. What if I fall from this way? Make sure I do it just right. I mean, sure, I guess. Good. I don't want to fall down that ledge. I don't think that's the only ledge I can fall down, either. So let's do our fall strictly at the middle. I think that'll work. I'm not sure. Nope, that's not how you do it. Let's try that again. Too bad I can't just grip those trees, can I? Nope, they're not interactable at all. Okay, I got a game plan. Which, you know, I hope I can pull out successfully. It's gonna guarantee that I get it down the middle. And if only I put a, that much effort into Plinko. <laughs> Would've made off with that 10 thou, you know? This is where you gotta climb down. I did it. Now, we just need to search here. There's a cliff. That sends us under the wall. Really, the shrine? The interior is just one room? Huh. We got umber goggles. Nah, I definitely look like a steampunk wrestler. <laughs> Alright, there you go, Spetta. You're Becky Lynch now. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't think you're gonna be straight far as seeing as how you're a Jupiter adept. But I mean, close enough. Also, why don't I just warp? I don't need to be here anymore. In fact, it may not be a bad idea to just straight up leave. God, it's only been like less than 15 minutes? I think I can pull off some other stuff too. But I think I'm gonna like uh, cut away from this video and uh, meet you somewhere where I can get some more stuff done. Time out, everybody. Okay, I'm back. I didn't go as far as I'd like to, but on this very spot on the map, if you take a look at the upper screen, which is technically the screen on the upper right, in these shallows, we found something called an old mace. It is forgeable, by the way, 
but using it as is would be a bad idea, given how low its attack power is. I assume if we forge it, it will be much better. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make my way to the south. I think that would be a good idea. At the same time, we can go, like, straight to the Yamada Ruins. Should I do that now? No, I think we're gonna wait till I get all the Umbra gear. Also, what are these islands over here? Okay, I'm thinking this archipelago is not that important. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anywhere you can just beach to. But... It's another shallow. Matthew, I swear to God, you're almost useless for sailing. Do I have to just keep tapping A on the very same spot? Or is there like a very specific spot on the shallows? Before I can actually get anything. I'll just give it like a few more tries. Why does that earthquake that much? There's not even an earthquake here. Okay, it's on this spot. We got a rusty sword! Hey, that's actually pretty cool. We got that. Thinking around the southern reaches, we can make our way back to Kaucho and Ayute and the like. I think we should take care of everything else first, before we do. That would be a great idea, all things considered. You know, try to like, cut down on our movement. So that we're not all over the place. There's an island over here that is where we need to go. What's this little island too? Oh, it's nothing. All right, let's make landfall here. Why well, do I have a feeling I'm just gonna have to go around counterclockwise to the very top of this mountain? I think this is the last piece of umber gear too. All right, here's a white wolf that's obviously gold colored. It, it did a good job. <laughs> it did a great job, you say. Sharpened up my Masamune. Sephiroth would be proud of it. Weird Nymph! I've come across a fair amount of nymphs in my time. Well, human nymphs, not the much wings. They're weird in a good way. They're not that weak against lightning, though, like those chicks are. If I can be completely honest. Not that I've tested it! But I imagine they wouldn't appreciate being electrocuted. Oh, it looks like I'm in a volcano. I imagine it would not be safe to just fall in. Hold on a sec. Wait a minute. Thermal? Okay, it doesn't really do anything. But it might do something here. We... But this looks like the place. I got this one. My thermal synergy can create a solid updraft of warm air. This fire-based synergy creates a warm updraft strong enough to lift the user up to otherwise inaccessible heights. It doesn't work everywhere, but it's great in a spot like this. Um, thanks. Wait a minute. I saw that door before. I never interacted with it, but it was in the, uh... Aka ruins? 
like the cave? I think I need to go down here. Jester's armlet. Well, you're gonna be exclusively on Umber gear. You can't even equip it anyway. I think you're gonna have to give up the, uh, uh, let's see, defense and PP go up. I think Himi gonna be, gonna be using more PP than Amity will. Alright, I gotta find a way to get to those pillars. Can I go straight this way? I mean, I can. Oh, wait a minute. There's a Mars Ginny over there. Wait, could I use Thermal to send him upward? Probably could, but I can't reach from here. And that's a dead end. Alright, we're going this way. This is going to lead to one of those stone pillars, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I'm going to need that to get over here. Okay, this dungeon doesn't seem very large. But I would imagine the bulk of it, or at least the most important part of it, is beyond this door. On the door is carved a sun crest with an opening like a sword-shaped keyhole. Perhaps something goes in it? Hey, uh... Violio, uh... You wanna stick your unit in there? You don't do that. We kinda need you. If I use Thermal, am I gonna send him straight up in the air? If I do... Am I gonna send him somewhere I can reach him? I think I can, but let me take care of business here first. Do I have all these thermal vents activated? Okay, it looks like I have to activate them only when I'm using them, and then they're back to normal again. Did I take the vent that's over here? I don't think I did. And I think I need that to push the other pillar down. Well, both thermal vents are active. Will it deactivate as soon as I get back down there again? Okay, I think I just uh, created the way to go. Maybe what I took with that genie was just a detour. So I think the way to the treasure is up this vent. And it looks like we're gonna have to come back here when I have the way to open that door. The Umbra Knuckles. Oh, apparently Umber Gear is also a weapon. Way better than the Beast Knuckles. There you go. It's yours. I think it's time we go get that Mars Genie, too. That's right, we're getting greedy. We want it all. Where are you, man? I thought you liked updrafts. Well, at least we got the first strike. Uh, cool Go with Frostbite. I remember, like, uh, one of my friends, instead of saying she had Frostbite, she said she had Freezer Burn. That is not what Freezer Burn is. Can you imagine a person getting freezer burn?
Thanks, Betta. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I made a pun. Look at his tail was like a brush. Lair. All right. This inspiring fire spirit is encountered at the volcanic island cave. Flare's ecstatic light elevates and refreshes the mind. I know who to give it to. Um, I'm gonna give this to Tyrell. And then I'll give this to Sveta. I can finally set this guy again! Alright, at this point... We can give, like, any Jin to any character that doesn't have 9 already. So we're pushing to the limit as to how many Jin we, we got. And I love it. So we have all the Umber gear now. All we need is to go back to the Yamada ruins and get that last orb. And then we're set. Yeah, I am curious about that cluster of islands over there to the upper left. Let's go check them out. Look at that wolf's tongue, it's so long. It's crazy, don't you think? You did a great job, Yolio. Using a weapon that wasn't originally yours. What weapon do you have again? Still afraid for you. Okay, yeah, Swift Sword, whatever. I think I can sell that. Wow, that was a useless move. It sometimes doesn't work. Just drop some sheep down from the heavens. What kind of move is that? Alright, let's go sailing again. Paradin? Hey, Burb, what's up? You wanna die on the high seas? Cause that's what you're gonna do. I imagine enemies like this would be rare, given that most of the time you're avoiding or sacred feathering anyway, and a lot of your fighting you'd rather do in the Eclipse because it's worth more. Yeah, obviously we don't want to fall off, that would be crazy. There's an island over there. Let me go check out the big one. Slime Beast has, like, really weird looking eyes. I practically land on all of them. Because they're just beach. Let me see what's the big deal about the big one. Plated Rat! How the hell does a rat get a plate? It's like, just bone plate? It would have to be, because it would be weird that rats can just make their own armor. Given that they're just isolated right here. Where are they going to go? Let me just keep running around on the nipple of this island. There's a Jupiter Ginny right there. Alright, let's get it. I want you to go beast mode for this. Just use your best one. Given how annoying some of these are to find now, I definitely don't want this one to run away. Yeah, 
another one you can use? Sure, try this one. Tornado! Eh, whatever. It's better you did it again. Simoom! That's a weird name. This spirit of burning winds is first found on a small desert island. The violent winds Simoom creates are scorchingly hot and act like a toxin in the body. That sounds kind of freaky. I'm gonna give you to Karis. There, now Karis has nine! Alright, so four more to go! It's hard to believe we almost got all the gin in this game. I can't believe I have also had this much money. What am I gonna do with it all? We have all the Mercury and all the Jupiter. So all that's left is really Venus and Mars. Okay. So next or order of business is to go to the Yamada Ruins again. And then probably take care of some uh, odds and ends before we go to the endless wall. I think that would be like in order. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.